A recent article in Bloomberg Business Week magazine suggests that a lack of regulation and some challenges in questionable marketing has led to some legal problems for some laser spine surgery practices, including one with offices throughout Florida. One general point brought out by the article, quote, there's little government oversight regarding which doctors can do spine surgery. All they need is a medical license, whether their training is in orthopedics, foot surgery, or pediatrics, unquote. We talked with the specialists at Gulf Coast Spine Institute, part of the Health Grades Five Star Program at Citrus Memorial, and with offices in the villages about their training and what to look for in a surgeon if you're considering minimally invasive spine surgery. But when a patient comes to my office, well, you know, we, we educate them and they leave here very comfortable and confident and they know exactly what kind of surgery is going to be performed and what, the, what my outcomes are and what my partner's outcomes are. So uh, you know, they, they leave here very knowledgeable. I think what, what sets us apart uh, at Gulf Coast Spine is that we do almost all of our surgeries in the lumbar spine through minimally invasive techniques. Uh, that's, a, that's a surgical technique that is growing, but still uh, I, I would guess only about 15% of spine surgeons are utilizing it. So there's a learning curve, I meaning it takes several cases to become uh, very good or efficient or proficient at the procedure. I've been doing it since 2003. When it comes to skill level, you know, we all have a different skill level. And in spine surgery, uh, there's a certain skill level. And my partner, Dr. James Ronzo, and myself have achieved that skill level, especially in minimally invasive spine surgery, which is um, it's very, it's very advanced surgery, and um, and this is what we do. Ninety percent of our surgeries are minimally invasive. I think any time a patient uh, is contemplating uh, surgery, that's a big decision. And if you're going to go to a physician that's offering you surgery, you certainly want to be comfortable with your physician. Make sure they're spending enough time with you to explain your problem, and explain the surgical. Uh, procedure that they're, uh, they're um, proposing and you should also know the risk and the benefits of that surgical procedure and I would say make sure that they're board certified. I, I would almost think that you wouldn't have to say that but uh, make sure that they're board certified maybe even ask them how many of these procedures have you done. You know, when it comes to minimally invasive lumbar fusion I think I've done more than anyone in the country at this point. I think I've gotten well over 2400 lumbar fusions done minimally invasive and uh, I don't know of any spine surgeon has that many you know, as a solo practitioner. Gulf Coast Spine Institute, which was not named in the Business Week article, routinely presents free community informational seminars to answer your questions. For more information about an upcoming seminar and contact information for Gulf Coast Spine Institute, look for the Surgical Savvy Story icon online at yourhometownhealth.com.